Hi, welcome to this new video tutorial. In continuation of our previous uh, video tutorial on on the introduction of variable in Jasper report. Today, in this next video, I'm going to show how you can sum all values of a column in Jasper report. And here is big question of combining the variable that I've introduced you in the first tutorial to the sum. You remember in the in the I think in the calculations we had the sums here, which uh, which is uh, the variable value is uh, the sum of all known values returned by the report expressions. So what we are trying to achieve now will be this one. Suppose you have a product, a report, small report like this one. Here you have list name of products here you have the quantity what we want to achieve in this calculated uh, columns here is that you want to take the sum for the first products then add it to the next one is uh, 5 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 10 here you are going to get 16 and 16 plus 2 here you are going to get 18 and 18 plus 3 here you are going to get 21 so here is how what we are trying to achieve we are trying to do this one automatically of course using uh, just by report functionalities so what we do now is that we go to our Jasper reports and then in the first tutorial I've already shown you here I've already created this report let's run it and see what we get here we have documents positions products and the quantity here you want to add a new columns here we should be summarizing cumulatively cumulatively uh, the sum of the rows as soon as we are going down so let's go back to the design and here you have to add the header Getting use our key. So here we have we call it quantity sum com cumulative. <coughs> so <coughs> then here we are going to just copy this field. and we add it here right so now we need to create a variable we go back i show you to the variable item here we right click here and we create the variable here we call it quantity sum cumulative sum I think it's a complete sum, okay, something like that. Now comes the type, and here is where the zero thing. What do you want to summarize? You want to sum here. What you want to sum uh, summarizes here. The sum of what the what we need here is going to be the type here, and what we need is the quantity. So we need to find. Uh, the type of the quantity we go to we need to find the type and before that we need to set the expression what do you want to sum you want to sum uh, the field so 
here you want to sum the quantity and you can see here the type is integer so we select the quantity here as the expressions this is the field that we want to sum and we come here and we replace this type here with integer okay then next important is functions that we want to do here we want to do uh, you want to get here the sum okay we set the sum and next we want to keep this one as zero okay this uh, initial value of the expression we keep it as zero and then we come here this is none we keep it increment increment as none and when do you want to reset you just want this one to go sum all these things till the end of the reports so that is it so then we save our reports then we come back here to the field and we select the field and go now to the variables select the variables here and set quantity sums here and this is what we select so then we come back again now and let's make it a bit different by setting for example the size here to a bit bigger some same thing goes here we just format it a bit so here we set this one okay and we also change the font to 14 oh, big too big we got to 12 let's save it and start run the reports okay here is what is happening now you can see that we start here with 11 then come 4 then come 8 it's not working what is the problem hmm. interesting so let's go back what have we forgotten <clears throat> We go back again here to our variable we have this one to sum it's not working cumulative sum oh sorry let's go back we select this field here again we come back here ah oh, the error here was that we selected the field instead of the variable we go here to the variable and then set here to this variable okay i hope that now that we have selected the correct thing was my mistake sorry and let's save it and run again bam you can see now that we have 11 here 11 plus 4 14 plus 8 plus 3 15 sorry 23 then 23 plus 4 27 and so on and so forth the last one here is 56 we go to the next page 56 plus 16 here we have 172 it goes here again with 4 it's 180 and so on and so forth this is how we get uh, a total here a running total for each field which has been incremented i hope that you got uh, the essence of this tutorial and if you go back again and show you what you have to do you have to change these things to um, you have to change uh, 
set the variable name type here which type should correspond to the field in the expressions it is integer you also need to set this uh, this uh, sum here and what happen if we change this total here from reports to page okay reset type we see what will change to our report you can see that we have the sum as normal it goes to 156 but when we go to the next page it start again so here the sum here is going to be reset after every page so this is very important depending on the logic that you want so here we have the reset changing every page whenever we go to the next page we have it changing so we may also want to have this thing based on you may also want to do that based on the group okay you want to do that based on group and here we are going to select group is the product id so we expect this total to change when we change uh, the group let's go here sorry we go back again here quantities here we select this one too we go to advance group product id and it doesn't work it doesn't work what we may need to do is um, it doesn't work interesting i will keep this one as the subject of the next tutorial if you are interested in this one follow my next tutorial i will show you we are going to try to perform this uh, functions how we can get this thing like this total is going to be increasing and whenever we will change the group here change this one will automatically change here and reset based on the group so it's be something like a group so so if you are interested stay tuned for my next tutorial i will show you how to perform this one okay bye